Hey, my iTube, uh, iTube, mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry. Hello, YouTube family. I am back. It's your girl, Eye Candy, and I have another haul for you. I'm still cleaning out that room. Like I said, I got interrupted with life, but I'm trying to jump back on things while there's a little lull in the situation. Um, but before I get into my haul, guys, You've, if you're a true day one and you've watched my videos, you know I'm a shoe holic, and that I usually come out with two or three, four pairs of shoes. Um, haven't found as many lately. It's been a little uh, slow as far as shoes go. But why do I insist on wearing these shoes? These I thought that these like a couple, maybe last year, year before, and. They started here on the little pinky toe, and it's gone. And I keep wearing these shoes. I wear them around the house. I wear them from the car to my office before I change shoes. <laughs> Sorry about that, Prince. The dogs are at my feet again, as usual. If you know me, I have about at least two, 300 pairs of shoes, but I keep wearing those things. But anyway, I just had to share that. Um... Got a, a mixed haul today, and so I'm going to start with the retail. And I ordered this from QVC, and it was $58.96. So this is one of one of the times I splurge. Like I said, I do a lot. Most of 90% of my clothing are thrifted but every now and then I will splurge on something if I really like it and so this is what I got guys it's a bur burgundy cardigan Ooh, good lord yeah I'm going to the disco <laughs> whoa it actually looks less bright in person than it does on the uh, screen but it's burgundy this is by Quacker Factory, which is uh, one of my favorites. And yeah, and then the back is just solid. This is a knit fabric, so it's sweatery, but it's not overdoing it. So yes, that was my uh, splurge from retail, not on sale, not on clearance. Okay, now as I said, Maybe I didn't share with you guys. I did a video and I was going to do a part two. Did the part two and it's lost. I didn't delete it, but I don't know where it is. So some of this stuff may be repeats and I apologize. Please charge it to the head and not the heart. I think I have shared these little um, fish earrings and necklace set. I got these at Goodwill for five dollars or three dollars. There's the tag. Sorry about the uh, movement, but yeah. So I don't know. I may have shared those already. And then I got this ba uh, wooden bracelet. Oh. It was three dollars. So, um, like I said. Some may be repeating. I really apologize, but I could not see that the video with them. Okay, so I went to, as I said, I was having, um, my mom was having health issues. She's been sick, and so um, she lives about four hours away from me. So I went to see her, and I'm sorry, hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, sorry about that. My uh, phone just whistled at me, and I wanted to bring it close just in case I get a call on my mom. But as I said, she, she lived four hours away, so I went to see her and um, ran into a yard sale. And this lady had a lot of uh, stuff that was brand new with tags. She had some pretty uh, good name brands. So this is a Tahari dress. It's a wrap dress. It's new with tags on it. Came from Macy's and it was MSRP is $124. Oops. Sorry. And 
There's the Macy's label, but it doesn't say if there was a different price for Macy's. So anyway, yeah. So I'll be happy to rock that. Um, also at that same yard sale, I found this little top from Coldwater Creek. And what, what do I always say? You can never have too many white or black t-shirts, tanks, or tops. And um, this is Coldwater Creek. This was a dollar at that yard sale. That dress was um, two fifty, I believe. Okay. Went to a church sale. Batteries low. Went to a church sale and found this, which I will wear for Halloween. New with tags. And it's from uh, Walmart, I believe. One dollar, and that's what I paid for it, a dollar. <clears throat> okay, uh, the, lady with the, the lady with the yard sale had these pants. They are by Bizu Bizu. $2.50. They're capris, uh, button fly, no true pockets. Okay. Uh, also got this dress from her, new with tags, cold water creeks, $89.95. And it looks like this. I believe this one was $5. Actually, no, the dresses were five and they were half off at $2.50. Okay. Um, did some, oh, at the church thrift store, I also found this top for a dollar. It's by Katie. And I just kind of like the studding there. It's a navy blue sheer. Okay. Uh, Target. I got, boy, if you don't quit looking on my leg, these pumpkins, they were $3 in the little um, dollar area. Hold on one second. I also got this pumpkin from Target. It was like uh, five something, I believe, on sale. Because I think it was seven and then it was 40% off. No, that one was nine and it was 40% off, so it came to like seven. This one was seven with 40% off or something. It came to like five something. So uh, these are plastic. This is going to sit in front of my fireplace, which is not going to be lit because these are plastic. <laughs> And this I think I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar. And oh, uh, Target, I found me some uh, cranberry tights. And I like tights this time of the year instead of stockings. Um, some divider pockets for my notebook that I have. Or I might stick these in the one for my daughter. I have to decide. And it's like, looks like that. Oh, here's the colors. It's got different ones. And these are the different colors. And then it's got these plain ones. $3. The tights were $8, I believe. I can just see here. Yeah, the tights were 8 And then I got another binder. This is a mini planner refill paper and on one side it's like calendar and then back here it's note paper so that was three dollars okay yesterday i went to the dollar store dollar tree got a couple of these uh candle tea candles electric tea candles I got me some of these little footy thingies that you put on with your stockings. These will be good uh, with boots or something. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to decide on the tablescape for Christmas, but I did get a, a red runner and a gold or champagne runner from the dollar store. Oh, I got some beige footy things. Um, 
some Dawn, <laughs> and um, carpet cleaner. That's a big bottle of carpet cleaner for a dollar. Uh, that's by Awesome. So, and that's with that. Hang on, sorry. That I'm leaning out of the thing. Okay, so I'm always telling you guys how I can't do bulky sweaters because they make me itch and da da da. Why did I go to Goodwill and that's what I found some bulky sweaters, although they're kind of thin ones. Is that a hole in that sleeve? It sure is. Dang it. Look, guys, I didn't look, check this one very well. It's got a hole in the sleeve. And it is by Paul, Paul, Paul. But it was going to be a cute little Christmas one. I may just take the time and sew it up. That makes me angry. Okay. The next one I found, this one is by Coldwater Creek. And it's kind of a large and it's a green it's more of a, a mossy green it's more green than what it's showing on the camera in person <clears throat> for next spring summer I found this little ch chambray top with the um, decorative arms and the bell sleeves uh, the sweater, everything, these blue tags were a dollar, or were half off, so they were like a dollar seventy-five. So, everything was a dollar seventy-five. And then I found this one, I don't know, this one's going to be itchy. I got to find me an undershirt. <laughs> we had that discussion on Facebook. Uh, this is an Ann Taylor sweater. It is, uh doesn't say what the fabric is, but I know that's wool. Let's see if it's under here. Acrylic alpaca merino wool nylon. Yes. So, um, but it is cute, guys. Look how it looks. It's a long, longer sweater, so I can wear it with leggings or something. And then it's got the pattern going across. We'll see if I make it into these. <laughs> Okay, I uh, found this little um, casual sweat top type of thingy. It is by Cynthia Rowley. I believe she's with Kohl's. And um, I like it's got a little zipper down here on the side. On each side it's got zippers. So if your hips are a little wide like mine, you can open it up a bit. Really cute, you know, kind of a thin sweatshirty fabric, so it'll go good with some sweatpants or something, or jeans. Uh, speaking of sweatpants, I found some sweatpants for my mother to wear uh, to try to keep her warm. I tried to find some at Walmart, and I could not find any just plain sweat ones like these. You know, they used to always have the ones for $7, I think, just plain sweats. Now and everything is like the sports sweats, so... Uh, I couldn't find her any yet. Okay. Uh, also at Goodwill, I found this little uh, top. It's a red top. It's got the peekaboo sleeves, kind of. It's short sleeve, but it's got the little uh, cold shoulder or peekaboo, whatever you call it. And it's just a t-shirt fabric, red t-shirt. I found me a necklace. And, oh Lord, and it went on sale, $6. I don't know why I keep going for their jewelry, and I know it's way higher than I want to pay. But, like I said, I haven't had good luck with any uh, yard sales this year. I'm sorry I have to lean down here into this bag, but this dog is working on my leg, y'all. I think he thinks it's a piece of chicken. <laughs> Um, at Goodwill, I found a pair of those little footy thingies, stocking thingies for 50 cents. So, I should be pretty stocked up on those. Oh, actually, I found two pair. So, that's four. And I think those ones that I got at Target had three pairs in them. Yeah, see, these had three pairs. So, I got plenty of those. Okay. 
All right, are y'all ready? Where did I open up my video talking about? Mm-hmm. I found some shoes. Not only that were these shoes, but they're boots. They're over the knee, guys. They're leather. They're man-made. And, and the inside right there has got a little rip-up. And I might have did that with my nails when I tried them on, now that I think about it. Because these boots have not had very much wear. They were $12. If you know our Goodwills here, the boots start at $6.99 and they can go up. And there's the zipper. But they are in immaculate condition. So, my only problem is, I guess I need to wear, go up a size or something because, to me, I have little skinny bird legs, but I have a hard time zipping these boots around my legs. So, I don't know if I need to go up a size in the boots to try to make the calves a little bigger or what, but if you guys have some tricks for that, let me know because I'm trying to get into the boot game. I just never have really been able to do it because I get hot. And so I know not to wear like knee highs or anything, just to wear footies or something. But um, yeah, if you know some tips of what I can do or where I can find boots with wider calves that are in my size, I'm an eight. So let me know. Now look at these babies. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Look at that baby. And guys, this is by... Mona, Mona Mia. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Mona Mia Collection. And usually a shoe like this, they would have, um, and this is an eight and a half. Normally they would have marked it up. 350 baby, all day. 350. And both shoes have the strap. I hate it when I buy shoes and they have like one strap and one strap missing. So you have to take both straps off. So, mm-hmm. Now, I do not know where I'm wearing that or what I'm wearing it with. Give me some ideas. Give me some suggestions. Well, how would you wear those shoes? Okay. That is it for this one, guys. Uh, I may have one more to pull out of there, but I'm knocking them out. Nobody's knocking on the door. I said, I'm knocking them out. <laughs> he thought I was knocking on the door. He was getting ready to get rowdy. So, um, anyway, guys, thanks for dropping by again. Really appreciate your view of me. So, uh, if you like my video, please be sure to hit the like button. Uh, like I said, I'm open for ideas, suggestions. Just keep it clean and classy. Uh, constructive criticism. Um, and, let me see, like it comment. Oh, share it. You got a friend that likes to thrift? Tell them, check out what Miss Eye Candy or Miss Candy got on going on on her thrifting hauls. And also, hit that little bell. When you subscribe, hit that little bell and that bell will uh, notify you whenever I put out a new video. Okay? So, happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. Love and God bless you all. Bye-bye.